Now to innovators, where we look at some of the groundbreaking innovations transforming the world. Imagine if electronics could bend and stretch. Your smartphone could become a cuff on your wrist, or your iPod could be embedded in your sports top. Sheila Damarajan went to Illinois to talk to the man who is making technologies like that a possibility. I'm getting my first tattoo. Is this easy enough that I could do it myself? Yeah, sure, that, that would be the idea. It's a circuit board so thin that it can stick on my skin. This one's a prototype, but soon it'll be able to wirelessly monitor my health. I have like a circuit board on my you hand right now. You have a circuit board on your arm right now. Oh, yeah, wow, it it's really uh, in there. We've figured out ways to uh, reformat silicon in ways that uh, allow us to build circuits that, that stretch and deform almost like a, uh, a rubber band or, or a piece of latex. So it's very squiggly and curvy. It's also John Rogers is an engineering professor at the University of Illinois and the man leading a revolution in electronics. There's something very freaky about knowing that you're wearing a patch that can monitor you, something almost a little big brotherish about it. I think uh, you know the vast majority of folks out there will realize it's no different than carrying a Blackberry in your pocket. It just happens to be on, on your skin. But there's a reason we carry cell phones in our pockets. Like most electronics, they're built on rigid silicon wafers. Was there a specific breakthrough which made you realize, you know what, we can actually bend this? And you can think about it in the context of a, uh, of a two by four. If you take wood and you create it in a thin form, essentially a sheet of paper, uh, then that wood becomes very bendable because this sheet of paper is just much, much thinner than, than the two by four. So what we figured out how to do is take a silicon wafer like that and slice off the near surface region, extremely thin platelets, membranes of silicon. But the problem is, you now have something that's very bendable, but yeah. still pretty stiff. Right, right. So that led to a second breakthrough. Thin and wavy is stretchable. So if you take that sheet of paper and you fold it into these pleats, then you can achieve an end-to-end -end dimensional change um, without ripping the paper. Uh, and that's, in fact, what we do with silicon. The technology inspired Rogers to make a string of inventions, including a camera lens curved like the human eye. So is this the new face of electronics? I want to talk about the cost effectiveness for a second. Is printing a sheet of bendable, stretchy electronics right now more expensive or less expensive than a semiconductor chip? Well, it's a little bit more expensive uh, because it requires a few additional steps. So how will this technology compete? It's a $300 billion industry. David Icke is the CEO of MC10, the company that owns the patents for Rogers technology. We think we'll be able to accelerate the growth of that industry by deploying electronics in new places. Really, electronics anywhere is what we're after. But first, MC10 has to invest in making Rogers semiconductors work in industrial conditions. And as a startup, the company has to be strategic about what inventions it develops. It's important for us to get a few iconic examples of how thin conformal electronics can be used uh, out in the marketplace so that people are aware of what the technology can do. Ike chose this balloon catheter that can stick electronic wiring inside the chambers of the heart. And the tattoo, which is being developed with Reebok as a top secret sports monitor. Do you one day see pretty much every pair of sneakers or t-shirt that you go to run in incorporating this technology? I think it'll, it'll happen. You know, I think it's inevitable. So it might look crazy, but we could all be wearing these to the gym soon enough. You're the, the You're first person the outside of our group who has uh, <laughs> received one of these things. Now the big question is, will I be able to walk through the metal detector at the airport? That would be an interesting experiment. <laughs> MC10 refuses to tell us much about its top secret, secret collaboration with Reebok, but we know the product will use wearable electronics to monitor your vital signs like heart rate, blood pressure, even hydration.